Hi everybody, welcome to STEAM. This week we are making a kaleidoscope. Um, so this one's very cool. You only need a few supplies, um, but if you don't have the supplies, just give us a call at the library and see if we have any that we can give out to you. And um, we might have some available that you can pick up. So let me show you what you need for this one. So you need a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll cut a little bit shorter. You'll need some kind of shiny paper. So um, if you don't have anything like this, you can, this is just mirrored paper, it's a little thick. You could put a foil on a piece of paper or you could put foil on a piece of cardstock. Something that's reflective that you can see yourself in. Um, you'll need a bendy straw, so it has to have a little bendy part. Um, some circle, so it actually doesn't necessarily have to be a circle, but just about this size, a circle on a cardstock works best. Some tape, some scissors, crayons or markers, something to add color. This one's pretty important that you add color, so any kind of color you can put on is great for this one because you want to see all those colors in your kaleidoscope. And then uh, if you did pick up the packs from us or if you got them from us, then they should have the instructions inside them. Uh, and you can find them here, of course. So our first step is to paint or color your cardboard tube if you want. So if you want that, this is going to be the outside of your kaleidoscope. So if you want to paint it, you can just paint it and then set it aside. And you could also just color it with markers or crayons. I'm not going to do it for this video, but that's an option if you want to make it more fun, more colorful. So your next step, you're going to fold your reflective paper into a pyramid shape. So my reflective paper, you'll see a little bit later how it needs to, it needs to fit right inside your tube. But I believe mine's 4 inches by 3 inches for a standard roll. So um, that's a good starting point, or you can make it a little bigger just to make sure it'll fit. But what you want to do is you want to fold it into threes. So you just kind of fold it over itself. You can also measure if you want to make it perfect. So you just fold it like this, make a little tube, and then fold it down. So you want it to be about even, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just kind of trying to make a triangle shape. Pyramid shape, I should say. So you want that down there. Put this this way. So you just kind of push it down and then fold it like this. You don't have to do it super creased just in case you need to change it at all. But basically you're trying to get this shape so that you've got a triangle you can see from here and you've got a little pyramid shape here. So you can tape it now but I like to check because it needs to fit inside your tube. So you can kind of squish it in there, that's alright, but as long as it fits in your tube like this. And you don't want it loose. You should be able to do this and it not come out. So it is better tighter rather than loose. Um, so if it's a little big, that's okay because I just kind of squished it in there. And really, I don't need to tape it because it's squished in really tight. But you could tape the top of it so it stays together as a triangle. If it is a little bit loose, just add a little bit of tape on the edge or a little bit of glue just something to really get it stuck in there because you want it to not move too much. So that's your reflective portion. You can actually look in it now, it's pretty cool. But we're going to add some color to make it more fun. So we've got our pyramid of shininess inside. Make sure the shiny portion is facing itself. So I put the white portion on the outside of my pyramid the shiny portion needs to be inside because they're all reflecting off of each other. That's how you get that cool kaleidoscope effect. So make sure the shiny portions are on the inside of your pyramid. Alright, so our next step is we're going to tape the straw to the top of the cardboard tube with the flexible part hanging over the edge. So what I mean by that is, and I can center this a little bit, you want your straw on the top right where it gets flexible like this you want it to be on the edge like that 
So this one's like a weirdly long, flexy part, but it doesn't matter. Just right where it gets flexible, that's where you want it to stay on the edge. So right about there, you want to tape it to the top. So I'm going to get a little bit of tape. You can also glue it, but just tape seems to stay best. If you have a hot glue gun, that would work great. So you could hot glue it. So just make sure that right where that bendy part starts, that's where it's at the edge. You want to line it up with the edge here. And then you're just going to tape that up to the top there. So like that, so it stays. And what I mean by cut off the extra straw is just this part here. So it doesn't need to hang over because you actually have to put your head there. So you don't want to get poked by a straw. So we'll just cut that off. And you can cut it a little shorter too if you want, but that should work just like that. And this side's a little long. It doesn't need to be that long, um, but you can leave it long too. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just cut it a little bit, but you can leave it long. That one won't get in the way too much. So here's what you should have so far. Your tube, you've got your shiny triangle inside, shiny pyramid. You've got your straw on the top. It should be able to bend right over the edge like that. And now you want to decorate your circle. So what's important about the circle, um, the picture will get distorted. When you're looking at it in the reflection, you won't quite see what you drew. Mostly you will see the colors. So make sure to put at least a few colors in for the best view. So I'm going to do some orange, I'll do some green, I'll do some purple and some blue, and I'm just going to kind of make a wild pattern. So it doesn't have to be anything too, oh, I missed yellow in our rainbow. So nothing too perfect, just a little bit of colors here and there. Maybe you can make patches of colors, so I'll make some yellow, make some red, you can mix them, you can overlap them, but mostly you just want some color. So just add some color into there. You can go out of the lines if you haven't cut it out yet. You just want color, so that's going to be the best thing that you can do to see some pretty pictures. So I'm just going to add lots of different colors. I'm not put in pink yet. What else did I not put in? Oh, my red's a little bit pink, but that's all right. Yellow. What else do I like? Hmm. Maybe I'll add a little bit more green. All right. So I just want some colors. So I just did it real fast. You can draw a picture and see how it turns out a little distorted because that's pretty fun to see. But you don't have to. It's up to you. All right. And then you want to cut out your circle. So for our circle, we are going to put a hole through the center of it. So if you do have a hole punch, that would be another supply you might need. But I don't have a hole punch at home, so I'm just going to use a pencil to make a hole through the center. So let's see. So when you put it in the center, it should line up pretty evenly with the bottom here. But it doesn't matter too much. The reason we have such a big circle is we're going to put it so that you can spin it around the center here. So I'll show you what I mean. So you want it to be the center, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So you can measure it if you want, or you can fold it to see kind of where that center is. But it doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry too much. I'm just going to go for it about here. I'm going to use a pencil and make a little hole through there. It has to be big enough where the straw can fit through. So just make it kind of big. So that's probably not quite big enough. Just keep pushing my pencil through. It's probably a good size. Uh, so if you do have a hole punch, feel free to use that hole punch here. But if you just have a pencil or a pen at home, you can use a pen. Alright, and our last step is just to put this through the hole. And then the reason it was important to have that twisty part is you're going to use that to kind of secure your thing so it doesn't fall off your circle. Alright, now the best part of this one is the kaleidoscope effect. So this is where you can look inside. So you want to not, so you just want a little bit of light here 
If it's too dark, then you won't be able to see anything in there. But it should have a little natural space, so that's perfect. So you just put your eye into it, and then you twist it. And you can see all the cool reflective colors. So I can see a few colors at a time, but for future, I might do even like stripes or smaller patches of color because the more colors you can see in one little piece, the better. So that makes the picture even more interesting. So I think this one's super fun. You get a really cool kaleidoscope effect. Alright, let me know if you guys have any questions about this one, or um, if it went really well for you, let me know how cool your picture turned out. Thanks for coming to this one, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!